bigger is not always better. We treat scalability as this really big blanket term. Like, you know, server too slow? Scale. Is search query taking too long? Scale. Like, no, Karen, maybe you write better code, you won't need to constantly scale your application. Now look into your whole process and see where it doesn't make sense to scale at and what's slowing you down. So what's your bottleneck essentially? So is it CPU? Is it memory? Is it IO speed? Is it network? When it comes to scaling, it's really not as hard or as complicated as it sounds. Thanks to software like Docker Swarm, for example. I'm really focusing on more of horizontal scaling. So basically making more instances of your application running on multiple nodes. So I wanted to scale my simple application uh, across a couple of nodes. So I wrote this very simple Go application, which doesn't do anything fancy. It just calculates a prime number. It's essentially a HTTP server. So you send it a request um, and then you just send it a, a limit. So if you send it 10, it'll tell you the amount of primes between you know zero and 10. What I basically did was wrote this application, compiled it, and I put it inside of a container. So when you hear of um, scalability, a lot of this will evolve around containers, basically putting your application in this own environment and then dynamically scaling up the containers and scaling down as needed. Now this is actually very cool because if you think about back in like the olden days, you have to actually get the hardware and dynamically, you know, put more computers together and you have all these systems running. We don't even need them all the time. With things like you know Docker Swarm, you can scale them across nodes as needed and then scale them down, which is really cool. So I created a Docker Swarm on my first Pi and that's set up as a manager node. Now from there, once I do that, it gives me a simple token and I can go on my secondary Raspberry Pi and just join the swarm with that token. And that's kind of really all there is to it. Once I do that, I can check to see both nodes are connected and I can verify that they are connected and then um, the service is now running across both of those nodes. If I go and check the settings, I can see that it's running and active on both nodes. So this is cool. So when I actually ping my server, when I hit it with a request, it might go through my manager node or might go through my worker node. Um, and if I try to like send tons of requests using curl, um, you know, maybe a thousand times, you can see the load goes to one of the nodes. So it does automatically load balance, which is really cool. Now this only happens though on initiation and when you scale it, Docker Swarm has this weird thing where if you add a new node, it's not going to automatically load balance, um, but that's just a side effect. One thing is that if one of the containers goes down with Docker Swarm, it'll automatically spin up a new container in its place. And if an entire node goes down, let's say my secondary Raspberry Pi goes down, it will spin up basically another service on my main Raspberry Pi. So it'll be two services running on one node. So, you know, it's kind of cool how, you know, something goes down, you know, you have a backup in place. And, and I think that's kind of a really unique thing with containers. That's a really cool thing with containers. Basically, I spun up a Go application and I'm running across two Raspberry Pis. So it's now a scalable app and I could scale up the service across the two Pis some more. I could scale it down. I can add a third Pi and even scale it further. And, you know, I'll have, in theory, increased performance. But like I said, at the end of the day, scalability does not fix everything. And in some cases, it causes more issues than really what's needed. So you kind of have to look at this on a project by project basis and see, it doesn't make sense to scale your app. Have you gone through the whole entire checklist and have you arrived at the conclusion that there's nothing else you can do but to scale? Because bigger is not always better. So guys, just tell me what you think about this in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts about scalability. Um, what do you think about Docker Swarm? Uh, we could talk about Kubernetes next video, maybe. Um, yeah, just tell me what you know, what you think about this. And if you like the style of videos, definitely tell me in the comments below. I'm definitely trying something new. So I want to hear your opinion about that. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.